a super nerd stop scrolling. I, I want to try to manifest something on the internet to see if we can just participate in a hallucinatory experience. Here's the idea. We keep talking about Easter eggs and favorite parts of a show that will and has never existed. And I don't want to write scripts or fan fiction or anything. I just want to pretend this show existed and remember parts of it that were never there. Ah, uh, so that's that's the idea. Can we do this? I've decided it'll be like a steampunk sky pirate show called Ships of the Northern Fleet. There was a book series, maybe a TV show. But yeah, we'll just talk about favorite things from it, but it's not out there. It doesn't exist. It will never exist. So if you're watching this video, it started here and quite possibly ended here because no one wanted to participate. That's fine. But still, here's the stitchable part of the video. Tell me your favorite Easter egg or moment from Ships of the Northern Fleet, books or show. So there we go. I don't know, I'll start it off. Maybe like in the books, Captain Barnabas, not a character, was named Neil Barnabas after Neil Gaiman. That's fun. I don't really talk about this a lot here on my page because I really wanted my page to stand on my own and I didn't want to like play the fame card or something. But people have started asking, and so I think it's time to come clean. Yes, I did play Annie in seasons one through four of Ships of the Northern Fleet. That was me. And like, I know, I know that there was a ton of controversy when Annie died, but my NDA is up and so I can talk about it. First off, spoilers, I knew what was coming. Writers had been planning it since season three, especially after Bosley died trying to get the Newtonium containment back online. Like, my, my character kind of didn't have anywhere to go. And before you all ask me about season four, episode eight, yes, he's a good kisser. He's a very good kisser. And so is she. The thing about playing Annie was that I just, I never expected to get the call. And then the next thing I know, I'm there on set and I'm filming and I'm part of this incredible universe. It was an amazing time in my life. And okay, you guys cannot tell anybody, but look, I kept the trophy from the Promethean Gambit. I wasn't supposed to, but I smuggled it off set. But anyway, Fleet fans, if you've got more questions for me, I will answer them. So just let me know in the comments. We're going to manifest this effect so hard that I can cash in on it. So this design is now available in a store linked in my bio. But I don't need the money from it because this is just fun. So every single cent I make of profit is going to charity. The Mandela Effect, a now commonly known phenomenon where a large collective of people misremember a fact, such as the spelling of the name of the Berenstein Bears or if the actor Sinbad was in a genie movie. Then we have today's anomaly. The book turned television series Ships of the Northern Fleet. Sotnif, as fans called it, was highly popular within nerd circles. I mean, a high concept steampunk sky pirate series would check all the boxes, wouldn't it? Cosplays of the characters were seen at conventions across the globe. The show won numerous technical awards for costuming and cinematography. Unlike Game of Thrones, whose finale was so bad that it knocked the entire series out of the popular consciousness, Sotnif's fall is a lot more sinister. After 20th Century Fox's embarrassing failure in canceling the show Firefly, they wanted to make sure that they not only supported their new cult hit, but that they got the lion's share of merchandising and other income. After the showrunners refused their demands, the show was somehow wiped from the entire memory of humanity. Further research is pending. We never thought I was going to admit this on TikTok. You think Star Wars fans are mean? They've got nothing on Sotnif's fans. Yikes. But everyone's talking about the show, and it's just like... I want to be a part of it. I know you don't recognize me because I'm not wearing the getup, but I... <sighs> okay, I played Glurp on Ships of the Northern Fleet. I know, I know, I've seen the message boards. You guys didn't like him. He was supposed to be for kids, you know? <laughs> but people really didn't like him. I'll be honest though, it was the best time of my life. I loved being on set. And yeah, he wasn't CGI! It was this like combination of prosthetics that I had to wear with like animatronics to do the face tentacles. And the size changing gimmick, we did it like Lord of the Rings! It was just like camera angles. That catchphrase though. Swiggity swaggity, let's blow up gravity! So fun.